We have some other news to tell you tonight, about tonight. We won't know what's next for the new Cuyahoga County Public Jail anytime soon. After the council announced tonight that all planning is going on hold. But some corrections officers say something needs to be done now to the current jail with safety as their top concern. Bree Buckley was at that meeting and has more. The most responsible course of action is to postpone the decision to move forward. Putting the planning on hold. Cuyahoga County Council leaving the fate of a new jail up in the air, waiting until a new county executive is elected and starts next year. Some council members in favor of the decision to wait, others agreeing with many residents who spoke during public comment, sharing how they're frustrated by the process and want answers now. What is happening? We don't, we don't understand and it's impossible for us to even weigh in if we don't, if we don't know what we're talking about. Cuyahoga County Corrections officers weighing in on the hot topic, saying they're fed up with their working conditions. We have a bunch of people up here that's been in that facility for over 20 years. We really enjoyed our jobs. We felt safe. People don't feel safe coming to work anymore. I feel safer driving on the freeway backwards than I do coming to work most days, and that's being honest. Concerned about safety for not only them, but inmates as well. I've been there since 2005. Since 2005, I've never seen so many assault. I've never seen so many shanks being made. Um, it's, it's just a dangerous environment. The COs asking the county for help, calling for harsher consequences when inmates assault officers. If I go to Walmart and I sexually harass somebody or if I grope somebody, that's a crime. So that should be the same thing within the county jail. If you do that to one of our female staff, that should be a crime. Saying retention is terrible, leading to staffing shortages impacting morale on top of the crumbling infrastructure, but confident a new jail won't fix the old problems. A new jail is not going to fix the retention problems, the stuff that's going on in that jail. I understand we do need a new jail, but before that, we got to work on the meat and potatoes. Last week, the steering committee voted down the proposal to buy 44 acres of land to build the new jail on Transport Road. Many people raised concerns during the meeting about that location as well. One of the main ones being its proximity to public transportation. Russ. Okay. Bree Buckley in the newsroom. Thank you.